Yo, 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 what's good everybody? Welcome back to the channel. A couple months ago, I introduced you guys to the North Spore Shroom Tech all-in-one bag. In the last video, I did the fanning and misting for the all-in-one bags. Today, we're gonna do the first flush. You also know that North Spore is my favorite company to get all the products that I use to grow my mushrooms. If you wanna try out the Shroom Tech all-in-one bag for yourself, or any of the North Spore products, you know they're great. Use the code Base Drop Keys. That will give you a 10% discount on any order at Norspore.com. All right, guys. So now we're going to fast forward a week. It is now November the first, or yesterday. The first thing that I'm going to do is what I always do whenever I start working with my mushrooms. I'm going to take my 70% ISO alcohol, and I'm going to wipe down the area that I'm going to be working in. Once I have that done. I'm gonna turn on my flow hood. By the way, this is an inoculate the world flow hood. If you wanna check out the other flow hoods that they have, I will put the link in the description. Now that I have my flow hood on, I am gonna take the 70% ISO alcohol and I'm gonna spray my gloves, making sure that they're clean as well. After that, what I'm doing is I'm taking the all one bags out of the tent, placing them in front of the flow hood so we can take a look at what we got. And if you look at the footage, you can see that we have great growth in two of the bags. On one of the bags, the one that I have in the middle right there, you can see that we didn't get any mushrooms yet, but the misting and fanning that I did a week ago, as you can see, has paid off in two of them. I do wanna add that I did not do any additional misting and fanning. I did it a week ago in the video that you guys seen, but I did not come in and do any additional fanning or misting the past week. I just kept it inside of the tent and I made sure that the humidity was over 90, which I'll show you a little bit here in the video. But at any rate, you can see that we have some big mushrooms inside of here. You can see that a couple of the big ones have split caps. The reason for that is because I could have did this first flush, this first harvest 12 to 18 hours ago, but some of the ones that you see in here were a lot smaller and I wanted to give them plenty of time to get bigger because I knew whenever I did the flush, I was gonna take all the mushrooms at once because after I do this first flush, I want to immediately rehydrate them so that way we can start the second flush and that one bag that didn't give us any mushrooms yet, I wanna rehydrate it so that way we'll get mushrooms out of that one as well. But okay, you guys can see how great the mushrooms look. The next thing that I gotta do is I gotta do this flush. Give me one second. All front of couple packs, you gotta have it in the herd. In the herd. Hey, I'm the real bully. My name base drop, but now they call me rookie. Handful of shoes about to eat them like the cookies. Money on your head, I place a bet like a bookie. Got a hundred thought dollars cash tucked in my hoodie. I'm all about a chicken, I ain't talk about Nike. All the broke damn days still affecting my psyche. I'm about to take over, so what you don't like me? If you disrespect me, send you to the almighty. Kiss it to my grandma, what you know about pain? I don't really want to face it, stay higher than a plane. Man, she gave me everything, even gave me my name Cannabis and psychedelics, what's keeping me sane? My daughter ungrateful, I ain't got no love for it Like a mama, two face changed like a transformer Yeah, I took a couple L's, but it made me strong If I put you on a list, then I'm sorry you a gone. My name base drop, but now they call me rookie Handful of shrooms, about to eat them like the cookies Money on your head, I place a bet like a bookie Got a hundred thought dollars, cash tucked in my hoodie I ain't worrying about nothing, I'm the judge and the jury All this dabbing in the smoking got my vision kind of blurry In the kitchen, I'm a chef and I ain't talking Steph Curry I'll front a couple pets, you gotta have it in the hurry A couple grand is what I'm making every day, but it's early if you try me, I'ma see you to them gates that are pearly I'ma run through a hater like my name is Todd Gurley I'ma show time a sucker, I ain't talking James Worthy I put an iron out of shooting, I ain't talking about a birdie Buy a brick for the 20, then I sell it for the 30 I'll run down the dog and I ain't talking about a derby They gon' find you feel bullets laying dead on the gurney I'm ballin' like an athlete, so I really need a jersey Got some sisters on the knees and I ain't talking about the clergy If you wanna do a deal, gotta send to my attorney Eat a handful of shoes, it's not a trip, it's a journey I put an iron out of shooting, I ain't talking about a birdie Buy a brick for the 20, then I sell it for the 30 I'll run down the dog and I ain't talking about a derby They gon' find you feel bullets laying dead on the gurney My name base Drop, but now they call me rookie. Handful of shoes about to eat them like the cookies. Money on your head, I place a bet like a bookie. Got a hundred thought dollars cash tucked in my hoodie. I ain't, I ain't worrying about nothing, I'm the judge and the jury. All this dabbing and the smoking got my vision kind of blurry. In the kitchen, I'm a chef and I ain't talking Steph Curry. I'll front a couple pets, you gotta have it in the herd. I'll front a couple pets, you gotta have it in the herd. I'll front a couple pets, you gotta have it in the herd. Talking Steph Curry, I'll front a couple pets, you gotta have it in the herd.
All right, guys, so now I have the flush done. The next thing that we need to do is we need to dehydrate these mushrooms. If you're not gonna be using a dry freezer, then you need to use a dehydrator. If you don't have a dry freezer or a dehydrator, you can do it old school style. And that is just sit them on a rack inside your house and let them dry naturally. Or you could put them in a paper bag, sit it outside in the sun and let them dry that way as well. But I have a dehydrator, so that's what I'm gonna use. If you wanna use the same Presto dehydrator that I'm using, I will put the link in the description and I'll link it to the YouTube shopping links. If you've been watching my content lately, that you guys know that I changed up how I do my dehydrating. I like to do it at a lower temperature for a longer time now. So because these mushrooms were very big, I'm gonna start off at 12 hours. I always use 120 degrees Fahrenheit now, but usually it's for like eight to 10 hours. Because these mushrooms are so big, I started out with 12 hours, but then I ended up doing it for another 12 hours. So these mushrooms ended up being in a dehydrator for 24 hours. Now the next thing that I need to do is I need to rehydrate these cakes. As you can see, I have the bottom of one of my Max Shield bins inside the sink, and I'm just taking regular tap water from my sink, and you can see I'm filling up each bag with water. I thought I might have to put something on the top to help keep the cakes from floating, but to my surprise, inside these bags, they don't do any floating. So it's very easy just to fill up these bags, no problem and make sure you fill them up to the top because we want the water to cover the entire cake. Also, you guys know that the cake is gonna start absorbing some of the water. So I did have to come back two times and actually fill the bags back up. But the main thing about this is they didn't float, so I didn't have to put anything on top of them. Now, one thing that I did have to do for the two bags with the rubber bands, I did have to let the water to the bottom of the cake. So you can see how I'm taking the rubber band and I'm stretching it out. That way some water can get down to the bottom of the bag as well. I'm gonna let these cakes soak for 24 hours and then I'll come back and get rid of this water. All right guys, so it's 24 hours later, November the 2nd or today, and the mushrooms have finished drying. What I'm doing is I have this scale right here. I'm taking the jar and we're actually going to wait and see what the dry weight is for our first flush. Now, while I'm putting the mushrooms inside the jar, let me go over something about the dry real quickly because I'm getting some questions here on YouTube and on Instagram about the drying process. It's very important that you make sure that you dry the mushrooms all the way. Some of you guys are saying that once you put them inside your jar, that they start getting spongy-like. That's because you didn't have them dried correctly. Whenever you dry them, they should be cracker dry, meaning that whenever you break it, it's gonna break just like a saltine cracker. If there's any bend, any flicks, if it's not cracking and breaking like a cracker, you need to let it dry for a couple more hours. So now that I have all the mushrooms inside of the jar, you can see that we got 30.9 grams for the first flush. I'm just gonna call it 31 grams. So we got 31 grams for the first flush. That's over an ounce. Hell yeah, I'm definitely happy with that. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take two of these dry packets, I'm gonna put them in here, and that's how I dry my mushrooms right there. Don't these mushrooms look beautiful? I think they look great. I love these big, beautiful mushrooms. Hell yeah. The hoodie tech definitely works. So make sure you guys try it out whenever you get your all-in-one bags. But okay, we got our mushrooms dried and put in a jar for storage, so we're good. Now what you're looking at are the three cakes that's been rehydrated in the last 24 hours. All I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour out the water into the sink, and then I'll show you what each cake looks like. As I said previously in the video, I did have to come back and put water inside the bags two times, so they definitely did absorb some water. That's exactly what we want. But now that I have the cakes rehydrated, as you can see, I got them back inside my AC Infinity tent. You guys know that AC Infinity sponsors the channel. You can use the code BASEDROPKEYS to get 10% off your order at acinfinity.com. This is an eight x four AC Infinity tent. You can see that I have the humidifier in here. And whenever I close up the tent, it's fogged out in here. This humidifier does a great job of keeping the humidity up inside the tent. And speaking on that, earlier in the video, I told you guys that I would show you where the humidity was above 90. So if you look at my controller that's attached to the inline fan, you can see that it's 67 degrees inside the tent, but the relative humidity is 91% which is great. Now the 67 degrees is too low. I have the heat turned off in my house, 
but I'm about to turn it back on since I put the bags back in there. I'm gonna put the heat in my house on 72 and in about 30 minutes or so, this will be in between 70 and 75, which is exactly where I wanted it. Usually it's in between 71 and 73, but like I said, I'll turn the heat on and it'll be exactly where I want it to be. But all right guys, that's gonna do it for today's video. I will update this series again once we have a second flush, if we have a second flush, hopefully we'll have a second flush, but no matter what, whenever I have an update for the series, you'll definitely see it as soon as possible. If you wanna know where exactly to get your spores from, all you gotta do is come over to my Instagram, the Rookie Mycologist Instagram, click the link tree link in my bio, or check the pin post. If you do that, you will see my only recommendation on where you should get your spores from. Also, I do wanna mention that coming up soon on the channel, you will see some more North Spore videos. North Spore released their brand new redesigned knockbox. You guys saw the original on the channel. They redesigned it, made it a whole lot better. So I'll do an update video for that. Also, North Spore has released their brand new Boomer Bin Monotub Mushroom Grow Kit. It features North Spore's brand new Boomer Bin. Like I said, you will be seeing a video on this brand new product as well. That'll be coming up really soon. Also, you guys, if you wanna support the channel, come over to the rookiemycologist.com and get you some brand new merch. I do have some brand new designs that's gonna be on shirts and hoodies on the website as early as tonight. If not tonight, they'll definitely be on there tomorrow. So come over to the website and support the channel. If you spend at least $25 on the site, use the code rookie and you'll get a 10% discount on your order. If you like my music, come subscribe to the Bass Drop Keys music channel. I'm dropping a new song every two weeks or less on the channel, so come subscribe to my music channel. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate all of you. And until I see you guys the next time, peace guys, I'm out.